Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So this is a short video going over my JBL Tune 510BTs and it's now already been uh, I think almost three months since I had them. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not going to check it. I'm also not going to edit in the date of this because I'm currently downloading Fallout 4 because apparently even though I only have Xbox Live Gold when they updated it, I now have regular Game Pass. Not Ultimate, but regular Game Pass. Yay. Anyway, so um... Uh, yeah, this video is in low quality. Anyway, enough of that blabber. So yes, these are the headphones my best friend Caitlin gave to me. And, um, yeah, these are pretty good. Honestly, <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. They are a little lacking in bass, but to be fair, these are pretty cheap. Uh, also, yes, I know this is not the right ear cup for it, but Caitlin's brother took one of the ear cups off, so I just ripped this ear cup off of one of my old wired headsets I don't use anymore because my wired headset or not headset headphones were also missing a cup so I just decided to take the last one off of it anyway back to the main topic though um I've never let these charge to full because I don't really need them to be full on 40% battery uh is what they were at when she first gave them to me they lasted about seven nearly seven days before they died Though, something I'm not the hugest fan of is that once they hit 30%, a little after, then they hit low battery. And on low battery, they don't last long. So, it's like, if you, like, exam I, I have not gone anywhere with these. I don't, I don't really bring headphones anywhere other than home. Because I don't really have any pairs that work anymore or good, <laughs> keep a good charge. Anyway, but... If I were to be, example, like out and about and these were at 30%, I'd be like, frick. So anyway, uh, that's a little bit disappointing. But charging these is uh, quite fast. Well, I shouldn't say. I actually, like I said, I never charge them to 100, so I don't know how fast they charge. But I know that they charge pretty fast from 0 to 40. I left them charging for about like a minute and a half at one point, And they went from 0 to 40 and got me about like 3 days of uh, life. Which is like 2 to 3 hours average of listening to music. Maybe even 4. And that's pretty good. <laughs> Especially considering that these are really cheap. That's not bad. Now, for... um. Overall quality, I would say that they're okay. They're not the best, and they also don't really fit very well. They just kind of sit on my ear. But they're not too bad. If you're looking for, like, a cheap set of headphones that have decent bass in them, these are probably a good go get them thing. They're pretty cheap. They charge very fast, apparently. And um, from what I've read online... These have like 50 hours of battery life around there. Um, I think the official rating was 40, but I saw some people saying that you actually got like 50, 55. Um, they also last a long time because she said she's had these for about a year or two and they're still going. In fact, she is a second pair that her, um, her brother had, but I probably won't be getting those for a long time until she gets a new pair. But... Um, yeah, these are pretty good. Sorry about the, all the ums, but that's just kind of how it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love I love struggling to speak. But um I never charge these to full. I probably will eventually, but I'm not really using these right now. I'm actually using these, the ones that snapped on me a few months ago, if you remember. Oh, Ooh, that's kind of cool. Anyway, but these are my ProScan headphones. Um, and in fact, this coming April of this year, uh, it would have been a full year since I got that tablet and these headphones. But these headphones still... Dill? Oh my god. They do still work. Uh, they're not great in terms of bass. They have bass, just not great bass. They're open back, so you can like they let noise in. Um... One thing I do like about these is an SD card slot. I know people are going to be like, but, but you don't know we... Shush. It's nice to at least have some music, especially if uh, the power goes out and we have no internet, like what happened yesterday, and because we don't have data either, because, uh, yeah, AT&T is too expensive. Anyway, 
Point being, um, these are also decent, but I'm trying to purposely, I'm trying to purposely use these a bunch to purposely kill the battery's lifespan because A, I know, uh, that, um, I have twice the amount of money I need to just buy another ProScan tablet and another pair of these, but also I can afford like better headphones <laughs> and I have better headphones, but also since these are snapped, they're probably not going to last like another four years. So I'm just trying to purposely ruin the battery and plus it's kind of fun hearing them on low battery but even when they were brand new the bms is quite weak in this anyway um which i will make a video later today uh um or not today actually later this week of all my headphones on low battery but anyway back to the jbls that's not the main topic of this video not the pro scans but these um on that topic of low battery, though, I will be making a low battery video for these today because I know these are at 30% right now. Uh, the reason I said, though, that I'm going to make a low battery video for all my headphones I have is because some of them are on high amounts of battery and I don't want to purposely kill those because, um, you know, my Xbox headphones that I have right here, these ones, they have the best bass. Like, they're the best, bassiest headphones I have. I don't want to ruin the battery lifespan on those. So, uh, yeah, this rambly video is going to come to an end, and I hope you sort of enjoyed. Bye.